G'day guys, going back to Group A to see the continuation of the tournament game between Konos from Greece, he's gone Italy and is up against Tedessa playing as Anzacs. In the previous match we saw them slug it off in a very slow paced game with a lot, of, a lot of counter sniping on Languis, but hopefully this game will be a lot more fast paced in Kreuzberg, a map known for its 50-50 plays and a lot of grenade micro and really just running into the positions fast to get a good ambush uh, position. And also Anzacs are uh, known for their light vehicles, so hopefully we get to see a lot of fast paced rushing. See Tedessa with some uh, regular squad down the center, meeting Konos with his assault squad just branching out on the outliers of flags, not actually assaulting any at the moment, and not even capping his uh, back flag on the right there, so a quick early two cap from Tedessa. Now Konos coming with grenades, all <laughs> the grenades uh, got exploded in one of Tedessa's uh, infantry's hands. And he knocks down the walls here to just have some sort of cover to shoot down to anyone venturing into the western point. A very, uh, quite, quite a standard thing to do these days for most players. A very smart one. Uh, this guy capping will probably die. There's actually one of the guy here, so he'll still hold on to the cap. It's not the point to this, pushing in. The Vickers, oh, he went an elite MG start, sorry, mind my... Uh, analysis there because MG is in the center covering very well and has forced the death to hide away the firepower from that VGO Vickers is so damn strong now we've got on the eastern point Konos capping it and on this flag the Dessa seems to have pushed the point and now Konos is getting it back still on this side it's really two on two at the moment but Konos has some guys in the outliers to support another guy over here Paradutsi Oh, veteran Rathman gets taken out by the Owen gun. Now reinforcements of an elite MG from Konos. Looks like that's a uh, 7.7 Breda Safat. Not sure how good that gun is, so sorry. And opening up another area. Konos using his 80 grenades to, to open up some shooting areas. Vickers firing at that Breda. Not doing that much damage uh, from over here in the cover. This gun's actually doing quite a bit of damage as well. <laughs> Two MGs facing up each other with their support riflemen. It's quite interesting to see. This uh, gun's actually doing a lot better than the Vickers. And now the Vickers is uh, diverted his attention to the right to his detriment. As now they can focus fire, both of them are actually pinned down, and now Konos can come in with his, his assault squad, perhaps grenade them out of there, they're too scared to come out. There's too many numbers, Tedessa though is capping the left hand side, has reinforced it with, uh, I think an assault squad. Konos' assault squad now is making the move onto the center. These guys still pinned down, all he needs to do is dispatch him with a grenade. Can Tedessa realize in time, oh because video comes out at the right time, oh, gets grenaded though. And that's a big loss for Tedessa. Or was that the machine gunner? This one? It can't be. They can't have Vickers machine gunner. I don't know, to be honest. Maybe that's why. I think that's probably the Vickers, Vickers lone machine gunner there. That's what it was. Now coming in with... Uh, what is this? I don't know what this is. Probably the volunteer rifles. Yeah, they're all rifles. Volunteer rifle squad. And to back it up, we've got uh, the classic Olicon. Keep moving. The positions are already opened up, as you can see. I think Tedessa must have threw some AT grenades on there. So, and <laughs> knocks down the barrels as well, but maybe at the wrong time, as now Konos can get a grenade off that one. SMG, oh, nasty. Well done from Konos. Just ran down this line. And unfortunately, that wall wasn't ripped off. And Konos used that to throw a grenade over. Interesting uh, destruction of cover from both players so far. And that's going to set back to this a bit. Gone now another assault squad. It's going to be quite hard to take this position. He's got a lot of troops waiting for him. Time to do what? What we paid for. <laughs> I never heard that one. <laughs> that's a new one. 
Oh, I do. Well, Fans Effect guy just runs in, runs here. Don't know what uh, what was that about. Oh, grenade from Kenos. Oh, nice evasion from Tedessa. Prevents losing his soul, whole squad. Kenos with another one. Doing well at the moment, holding onto his side flag strongly. Center though. Tedessa has managed to hold it somehow with just a few riflemen from the volunteer rifles. Machine gunner relocating. And will be enough to hold that point now. His own 20mm, it's a Scotty. He's in a great position to hold both legs. It's really covered well with a sandbag, a box, a cable, holder, barrels, multiple boxes all over the place. So it's going to be quite hard for it to get hit by a HE shell. And now a 3 cap. Wow, Kurnos. <laughs> Oh, but here is the LRDG, 20mm Breda from Tedessa. That is, uh, how much MP is that? That's pretty cheap MP, I think. It's uh, the, it's 220 MP, it's very cheap. And it fires relatively fast. Though it is just a truck, but that's good enough right now. There's no, nothing with HE that can kill it. Kronos now coming up with, is that a mortar? Yeah, that's the Brixia 2 special point mortar. And that's actually something that will take out this quite easily, especially because the Brixia fires so quickly. First shot misses, second shot uh, comes so quickly after and probably won't miss. But both using... <laughs> have, have a great arc, both have great arcs on both legs. Uh, this one, this one guy here is not being killed. Scotty. It's having a few problems shooting over this uh, crate. Uh, Mortar is shooting in the center. So there's... Uh, He's scared. No, he's not scared. He is scared, actually. The mortar's actually raining on that little LRDG 20mm. Oh! Boom, boom. Oh! <laughs> Third shot, I believe, hit it. Uh, right next to it. Explodes it. Tedessa is definitely losing on the kill count. 837405. Uh, Tedessa, by the way, is uh, the favorite. Other than Hand. I guess it's changed a bit. People these days say Hand is the favorite, but Tedessa the favorite coming into this tournament. Won the last tournament, which was on the Award at War mod. The last 1v1 tournament, that is. But, uh, never really played Anzax, I guess. So I've never really seen Anzax in action. Let's see how he goes capping this side. What's, what has he got here? An Anzax squad? It's quite a big squad. What is this? It might be the Desert Rats or something? Maybe the Desert Rats? up on this flag. Looks like they've got uh, decent firepower, but wow, they're really struggling to kill this guy. 250 HP, looks like they are the best rats. Third tier hit points. And a large squad size. Not taking the right flag. Center now, Konos is taking it with an assault squad. Now swinging to the right side to get it back, but an ambush set up here by the desert rats. Not much damage done, they come with quite standard weaponry. A lot of the squad has remained intact on the right. Quick reinforcements from the Kar oh, Karata Ar Armato 1 SP, and this is going to be damaging to the Dessa. Oh no. <laughs> Barbecue here. Oh no, it's just too fast for that. Unfortunately. Now, just going to charge it all the way, it seems. I get all these guys as well. No counter yet from Tedessa. He's got... Oh, he's got a, a mortar. That's not a counter. Oh no, he's lost so many. It's 80... Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, finally. Boys AT rifle from where? Oh, shit, I don't know where that is. Where is that from? Hmm. I can't find it. Never mind. Mortar now is aiming at that Scotty. Scotty is relocating. Oh, see all that uh, debris protecting the Scotty. Mortar not hitting its mark at all. Does have longer range, I believe, than the Brixia, so it can kind of counter the Brixia mortar. Now, 
it's uh, Scott is actually just went back. It, it's not not running away. It's confident still. You've also got oh what a 4.2 inch water carrier from God from uh, Tedessa. I believe that's this one. Boom! Look at that explosion. Three special points there. So using the I guess the lots of buildings in this map as cover and spamming the mortars. So lacking in infantry right now. These mortars are proving not to, not to actually re contributing much. Still haven't hasn't taken out any of these units, or not many units at all. Can't even take out these guys. Scotty still not being killed. Total miss right there. <clears throat> And three cap from Konus very shortly. Jeez, those uh, Anzac mortars are, are really not doing much at all. Uh, Tavissa has managed to decap the center point and will allow to stay alive longer. Oh, wow. AT rifle, solo thumb, takes out the carrier mortar. Three special points just like that. Just everything. Uh, Tedessa has has been just wiped by Konos. All these expensive units. Now this lone mortar is going to try and make an impact. A Panzer N bought from Konos. Probably just for the purposes of taking out these mortars. Both of them not going any sort of anti-tank um, guns. Just focusing on these little artillery. This is very interesting, especially on a map like this. It's quite, I suppose, uh, open. If it were not including the buildings, but in terms of quite flat is what I mean. <laughs> and N. Now going to move away around this area. It's got a lot of line of sight here, so you can be confident that there's nothing there. Come here, then shoot over, take out that mortar. It's actually, actually going to try from here. Shoot right here. Here comes a desperate rush into Dessa. Oh, that's just a scout car. Oh, it's going to just go right over the mortar car. It's going to run down the center. Panzer N is uh, maybe going to say something about it. Scotty, can I take it to Scotty? No, does not want to go with Scotty? And go to the mortar instead. Oh, can he do it? Can he do it? Oh no, the is going back and forward. Right it over, baby. Boom! Is Oh, what? Oh, he's, he has done it. He's got it. What's this? Boom, boom, boom. Oh, it's alive still. Oh no, Panzer N. It did decently, I suppose. That's uh, one special point. Oh no, it's not one special point. It is one special point. It, uh, there you go. That really shouldn't be the same timer as these. That's the benefit of the Desert Patrol, really. In the World at War, that they had a different timer. It made the Anzacs a little bit more rushy. Uh, not looking good <laughs> for the Anzacs on this game so far. There's being countered at all by this uh, mortar. Finally. <laughs> Takes it out. How much is the mortar in this mod? 280. Okay, it's decently cheap. Decently cheap indeed. Desert rats now being assaulted. Decent uh, positions from Tedessa. Ambush guy over here. Hands around in support. So uh, that's a good MG there. So uh, he's holding. Now fleeing though. As here comes a Grant from Tedessa. Decent, uh, he needs some sort of anti weaponry, anti tank weaponry, that's for sure. And uh, Kunis has no answer yet. Hands are in. Trooper squad. There's one guy over here as well that can be nasty with the AT grenade later on. <laughs> Pads around looking for a lucky track, or unless I don't know, something glitchy on the Wally's armor where it can be taken out by the end. That's this up. Uh, 
up some sort of sandbag area. Look, there's a lot of MGs here guarding. Two elite MGs. And then moving to the center of the hole. It looks like he's just gonna try put his weight in the center of the hole for another seven more points. Tedessa needs something quickly. You know, running with his lead to the center point. Oh what? Scout car? Oh desperation. Oh Wow, Grant Lee takes out that Panzer N. Oh no, has it has damaged it. And that was a great charge there by the Desert Patrol. Takes out many. And here comes the Anzac stream in. They're getting ambushed by that decimal that uh, oh, Scout car flanks them all. That was a nice oh takes out the Panzer N. That was a nice move from Dodessa. And now the Scout Car is doing more damage. It's going to come down over here. Here comes the Aussies. Oh, wow, look at that. What? What? Oh, it's just ev it's just ripping shit up. Look at that Scout Car. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I did not expect this. And this is a complete turnaround right now. And the Panzer... So the pan it's a Panzer. It's a, well, it's in a German tank. M3 Lee. Is a pretty good gun to have in this map actually because it's decently armored and has two guns and the two guns can be good in a 50-50 play in such short ranges versus medium tanks in 1v1. Scout car going for seconds or you can say thirds. Gunners running his guys into the building or some of them at least. And uh, has not capped that right left hand side though. AT rifle from Konos. Mortar. Mortar now gonna fire on these guys, perhaps. Yep. It's a big turnaround here. 16 minutes in, 96 to 5. Uh, still not that many forces of Tedessas in the center. It's got, well, it's got a few an MG, a few MGs here, so it should be okay to hold. And it may be confident to move in. Scout car though, not rushing in. Oh no, this AT rifle has taken it out. <laughs> Had a good run, I must say. He comes in the salt squad to cap. Probably that last wall. No counter, I guess, yet from Tomer uh, Kronos. Choosing to perhaps play with the AT infantry. Oh, one guy gets knocked out. His elite. Tedessa finishes him off, perhaps, with the SMG DC NLG styles. I don't know, it's just satisfying to see a direct control kill on a body that's been knocked out for some reason. Uh, Kona's now pushing in with uh, Elite Squad, I believe. What's that? Ah, oh, stop moving so fast! Decima. I think they are Elite, pretty sure. And they got the Panther House, yep, they do. Oh, but the Grant is in trouble! There is nothing, no MGs, nothing. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Ooh, I missed takes out, can you take out this guy? Oh he does in time, lucky bastard. Three cap is on. And look, 50 cows been picked up. And there's, I think there's more 50 cows in there. I'm gonna pick up the other 50 cows. And wow, what a turnaround for the Dessa. It's not looking good for Konos at this stage. Diggers. I think they're the third tier. Yep, yeah, the Diggers are the third tier. 220, cheap MP. Or the standard weaponry, but they're cheap. An elite. No three cap yet. But it's now going in for the kill. <laughs> this M3 Lee proving to be the hero of the game. Okay, nurse waiting just to throw that grenade. Be annoying. The death evades quite good. 80 grenade to the face. Boom! Wow. Well, Tedessa <laughs> shows why he's the favorite coming pulling the victory from his ass yeah beat Pringles on the same map that was a fantastic game in the World at War tournament kind of sad. Ooh, coming out with a p40 Amato don't uh, I shouldn't out uh, right off Konos as of yet because it's uh, 23 to 96, Konos is 96, and he's got quite a lot of time. But once the three cap happens, it uh, doesn't really have much time after that. But here's the P40. No Panzerfaust in sight, or no Piat in sight for, for the 
Anzax. Oh, instant put away for the P40. Through that car. 560 MP. Oh, what? Whoa! <laughs> the digger with the trench rifle around here. Whoop, boom. At this end is being repaired. Not something that can turn the game around, to be honest, so I'm not too worried about that coming back. If that was like a, the P40, perhaps, and then he brings out a, a infantry killer. But 3 cap, 38, 96. This flag is being held by two MGs, three MGs, and this MG actually has distance over here. It's really about Kreuzberg. Looking at these players, they've really opened up the territory to make efficient use of um, positions where guys can fire on two flags. MG here. MG back here can fire on two flags. Oh, it's a good game. He quit. So well done to Tedessa. He actually won this game. Wow, wow, wow. Good game. 